All right, so we pulled up to um, South Lake Mall real quick. Got full lock action. Let me hit y'all with the fear real quick. Junior Watson, I be on my feet. Tell him this. Did he miss? Junior Watson, I be on my feet. Technical difficulties. Um, I shot a um, pickup vlog for the drug tour. Red cements. Um, and it came out. The intro is too long. Um, I probably put some of it over right here. But I did make some interesting facts. Like if y'all really want to see that, stick around until the end of the video. But nonetheless, we did get the shoot. When I got home, um, this is like the quality control. Like you know how. You're supposed to be presentable on camera, and my t-shirt was like all the way down here. Put that up there too. It was like it was like a lot of stuff going on last day, man. I was so busy and tired. Like I don't understand, man. I really work like two jobs, and and I try to maintain a YouTube channel. Um, I have a 16 year old kid. Uh, it's just it's just a, it's just a lot of good stuff going on. But this is what I signed up for, so you know what I'm saying. Really, there's really no excuses. It's just like, hey, so I gotta roll out a video at least once every week, so. With that being said, man, um, we're just gonna keep pushing like I told my boy Trey. Shout out to you, Trey. Um, I just dropped all my um <clears throat> my unboxing videos from last week. So previous videos I dropped the uh, Palominos, um the Union ones, and I just today, just today. So if you're watching this and you uh like really like up to date on my YouTube channel or you up to date with my, my community. I just dropped the Polish Crocs unboxes in five minutes, which is what we're gonna try to do like within five minutes. So I'm gonna take out the once I test the box, the um, me put for me putting down the box, it should be within five minutes though of you showing the shoe. So time starts now. I'm not gonna put the timer up, but here we go. Low key, I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. I done took this out the bag and everything. So before I even started up the camera, um, I put it back in the bag, put the shoes. The shoes is already put up. Like I got a little video for that one too, but receipt thing. So this is the official Rail EST 1986. Um, Jordan 4 Red Man unboxing. Um, I already seen them. So you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all see him on my channel. You know what I'm saying? So, voila. You know what I'm saying? I like to um, shoot once, one, one take, one take, and that's great for me. I don't like doubling back and going um, shooting things because I feel like it's not organic. You won't get the same reaction. It's like I'm trying to repeat what I did the first time. I don't feel like that's like original. I don't feel like that's just true. I don't feel like that's just like being honest to my uh, to my viewers in my community. So, but I'm gonna do y'all some justice. So I, I, at first when I was re reviewing the, um, the, the uh, footage or whatever, it was like, man, I'm not even gonna upload this. But then I just got a little bit motivated. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just out the simple fact that I opened uploading my um my cocoa melon joints for the crocs I was like you know what they deserve this bro i mean y'all y'all loyal y'all stay tuned you know what i'm saying y'all tune in so why not give them this one but if you do go ahead and subscribe it will be more so my honest take on these i actually do like these um these are a dope shoe um my favorite part of this it's like right here on the, the uh, red and white speckles. I mean, the red and black speckles. It's like my favorite part of the shoe. 
And then also, um, I find this to be very customer customizable as far as the drawing brand goes, because you can do like metallic. Um, you can just do so many, do different colors, uh, different um, patterns. Like these, this right here is my favorite part of the shoe, the heel tab, and just the variations of what they can do with the Jordan 4. Now, mind you, I'm not a big Jordan 4 head. Like, Jordan 3, I'm starting to catch on. Like, but 4s, man. Man. But, nonetheless, this is a dope ass shoe. This is a dope ass shoe. So, what, with that being said, um, a lot of people like fours, man. I'm I'm more leaning towards the unpopular opinion. You know what I'm saying? I try to be different and stand out, think outside of the box type stuff. But like I said, um, let's pretend to the fours, my brother here on the fours, y'all see that up there. Um my younger brother here on the Air Maxes. Um I don't know exactly who I'm gonna get these to. Maybe this would be a gift for my son, you know, his birthday coming up. Um I don't know, see the energy's not there. It was like it's like not original because I was hyped yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, oh shit, I got um Jordan Fours. Let me go ahead and show y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, but hey, I like for real, man. If you really tuning in, I hope y'all really like definitely catching the vibe. Cause like I'm a chill ass dude, bro. Like for real, bro. I'm just real laid back with it, like. So, yeah, like, this, 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 that one. I ain't gonna lie, these are hitters, bro. These are hitters. And I make it up wearing these, but the resale price, though, let's get to that. Um, Yesterday, before I took this screenshot, it was 272. Like, this was, like, before, like, 10 o'clock, maybe lingering until, like, 1, until I got home. And then I took the screenshot. I think, I'm not sure, I only looked at it once, but it's, like, 262 right now. So, that's, like, what? These was two ten, so these like fifty dollars of a resale. If you sell on these on the aftermarket apps, man, they easily gonna take 30, 40 bucks off for you. So I, man, I don't know. Like, unless you like selling these in person and you know you you make your own price. It's not a set price on these secondary markets, bro. Like, go ahead and wear your shoes, bro. Like, cause if you like like Trey, like Trey gonna set his price. So Trey price set his price like two eighty, two ninety. I don't know. He probably try to beat the beat the markets like StockX and Goat and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But they're not taking out the fees too, cause you know what I'm saying. In cash, you got right then and there. So you gotta think about that. But if you just like trying to pop these off on the apps, bro, you might well go ahead and wear your shoes, bro. Unless you just know somebody that wants to buy them like in person. Cause if you going through these secondary markets, bro, they gonna they gonna uh, they gonna get you, bro. And then really the profit only gonna be like what ten twenty dollars. So you making two twenty, you might well just not pick up the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Well, either way, but I know some people like buy the shoe, take it back. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just for the YouTube video, it's kind of like renting from a, a retail store, <laughs> low key. But I, I ain't shame, I ain't shaming on them. But I mean, hey, you gotta make content. You know what I'm saying? But these are my personal pair. Um, I don't know. Well, y'all may see these on feet. But like I said, man, any other four that I had before, like y'all seen in my channel, if you go back to all of my videos and I'm showing all my fits, you probably seen that a four probably like once. I think I had the, um, what four was that? I want to say, these kind of remind me of it too. They're like red, black, and um, white. I think they're the bread fours, I think. I think so. Because I got them from, um, Stone Mountain, and uh, I want to say it was somebody, it's, it's like the, the closet or something. I forgot the name, name of the store. Maybe I put the out there, excuse me. But the video is running on too long, man. Um, all in all, I do I like this shoe, I don't absolutely love it, but to each his own. Um, I enjoy my ones and my elevens more, but you know what I'm saying? Hey, so, anyways, um, we're gonna get up out of here, man. Um, uh, and just just a tidbit, bit. Um, yesterday I was getting like a whole weird vibe, like going to pick up the shoe and all that, man. But it's, this that's coming up later. I'm gonna put all this stuff later on the video. This may be running too long, so we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. Everybody, be peaceful, stay patient, be blessed, and be humble. I'll get up with y'all later for the passion, for the people, for the coach. I stay tuned for the bonus footage, man. It's going down. Uh, so upcoming videos, I'm not sure, but um, we got some on the way. Let's go. I'll let y'all let it be.
instruments, toys, like on sneakers app, like, I don't get it. I'm gonna have to do like a documentary of like, I'm gonna have to just do a documentary of Atlanta, just of people talking about sneakers app. That's, that, that, that's, that's the idea, you know what I'm saying? And if I don't do it, or if you could do a better job, or if it come to you first, like, man, we all these sneakerheads in Atlanta, or just the sneakerheads in America, or just the sneakerheads of the world, we all need to pitch in and do a documentary and just pitch in together. And just like, let Nike know how we feel about the sneakers out, bro, cause like, for real, people be getting mad, people be getting upset, like, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's favoritism, cause if you shop with them, you shop with them, you shop with them, you take it, and you get does, does, does. But if you in there periodically, bro, it's like, it's a, it's a, that's just a whole other story, just diving deeper. How sneakerheads feel about the sneakers out, bro. Like for real. I'ma really think about doing that, bro. Like get that get down and just get information from the actual people of how they feel and you know what I'm saying, they they experiences with the sneakers out. But I'm sorry for that long.